Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be here with you today. Today, we are going to be diving into the Mila Combi Steamer. Since it's Friday, we thought what better thing to make than a pizza. So what did we do? First we started and we actually went and got out some fresh dough, some fresh mozzarella, some tomato sauce, and some basil. And you will see in the previous um, part of the video, we'll show you how we put it all together, kind of in a speed up version because obviously each person creates their pizza a little bit differently. So we want you to create your own personal style. And before I get started, as always, I want you to like and subscribe. That allows us to keep making these awesome videos for you. And a little bit of information, we actually are also a kitchen and cabinetry showroom. So we sell all European cabinetry, very modern, very contemporary, very clean. So I would encourage you to check out the other videos on this channel because you'll see a ton of kitchen renovations that we did. And of course, one of our favorite appliances to put in the kitchen is Mila. And in particular, it's the Mila Combi Steamer. So let's dive in on how we're going to make this pizza today. So really quick, we have a very easy menu here. It looks very similar, how Mila designed it was very similar to the iPhone. So it's very visual, very user friendly. We are actually gonna go into what's called the Master Chef function. So the Master Chef function is a pre-programmed menu that offers an array of things that you can cook. And if you check out some of our earlier videos from last week, we cooked salmon and broccoli. It came out excellent. So today we're just gonna do the pizza. So we will hit Master Chef, and then we're gonna go into pizza. We are gonna hit pizza again, because obviously there's a couple of other items under this menu. And it's asking us two questions, whether there's yeast in the dough already. So this particular dough does have yeast in it, so we are going to hit yes, it does. And Mila tells you exactly what shelf to put the rack on. So when you open the Mila Combi Steamer, you're gonna notice you have one, two, and three. So it's letting us know that this pizza needs to go on level one, so we are going to say level one, and we are going to bake it. Insert the grease filter, we are all set, that is all done, we are gonna say okay. And we are now gonna decide on how dark we want the pizza. So the combi steamer can obviously do it so that it's very, very crispy, or a little more light and fluffy. I prefer the pizza a little more light and fluffy, so I'm actually gonna bring it down to this one right here. And if we want it a little darker, we can always check at the end, and if we need to cook it longer, we will. So we're gonna hit okay. Shelf one, okay. And we have three options here. Start now, ready at, or start at. So for today, we're gonna do start now. But for instance, let's say we needed it at ready at. Ready at is a great feature if you are going to have, for instance, a party and a lot of people coming to the party. So basically what you can do is tell the appliance when your company will arrive and it will make sure that it's ready at that time. Start at is more for the everyday kind of working family. So let's say you know every day you get home at six o'clock and you are gonna eat dinner at seven. You can let the appliance know, let's say you need about an hour to cook, to start at 6 p.m. and your food will be ready at 7 p.m. when it's time to eat. But for today, we'll use start now. So let's hit start now. And we're gonna place the pizza on level one. Close the door and you see it's on auto pizza and we have about 35 minutes till it's done, so stay tuned. All right, we are all set, so let's check out the pizza that we made. Oh wow guys, it looks so delicious. Check that out. Oops, it even slid, that's how good these pots are. All right, so we will put him down, we'll let him cool. Uh, a nice feature that I don't know if you guys noticed is when I was actually starting to use the combi steamer, you may have noticed that I didn't have to preheat the oven at all. So that's one really awesome feature for the Mila combi steamer when doing pizzas. You actually put it right in, no preheating required. It heats up pretty quickly and then as you can see we cooked that in about 30 minutes or less. 
Another feature that I really like about the Mila Combi steamer is the size of it. So you might notice this is actually a typical 24 inch appliance. Usually in, in the States we have 30 inch wide ovens that we cook pizzas in. But as you can see this 24 inch appliance worked awesome. It made a great size pizza and it's really easy to maintain and doesn't take up a huge amount of space. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to make this delicious homemade pizza for hopefully Friday night at your home. And please tune in. We're definitely gonna keep making these videos. And again, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.